We're about to rebuild a 22SI, one of the most popular truck alternators in the market today. You can notice the pulley on the front of it. Some of them are V-belt. Many of them are serpentine belt, multi-groove. Easily identifiable by looking on the back of the casting. You'll see the 22SI mark. Here's a view of the kit. This is the rectifier, the drive-in bearing, this is a brush holder. This is the needle bearing, goes in the rear. We're using the 27SI needle bearing. Voltage regulator. Diode trio and capacitor. Then we recommend the use of the two new insulators and the extra added insulators to make sure that they don't cut through. First thing we're going to do is take the pulley off. Take your left hand if you're right handed. Hold the half inch impact with your right hand. Put a rag around the pulley and hold it, and then reverse the nut off. Usually the pulley comes right off. If the pulley doesn't come off, spray it with your favorite rust bus and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Wedge two big screwdrivers in, 180 degrees apart on the pulley. You can also use a pry bar and pry outward, either by twisting the screwdriver itself or by prying backwards and pushing backwards. If you need to, a little bit of heat is a very handy thing. Try and heat it on the bottom so that the heat travels up. So any, any way possible, we get the pulley off. Then you can go ahead and remove the fan. Then we're gonna take a 3 8 socket with quarter inch drive. And we're gonna remove the bolts that hold the cases together. There's four of them going around the perimeter. Sometimes the bolts shown here are a little uncooperative. What we do is tap the outside edge gently to try and break the threads loose. Then wire toothbrush off as much corrosion as you can and spray some rust bust down on the side. Also you can spray rust bust from underneath. There is a hole and you can flip it upside down and let the rust bust soak on it for a while. You also can use heat as we showed you before with the pulley. Now we're going to take our hammer and tap on the front half to pull the whole front half assembly out. Looking down inside the back half, you'll notice the three leads where the stator leads come down. You'll see the three 11 seconds nuts. Take the 11 32nd socket and remove all three of those. Then I'm going to remove the stator from the plate. I'm going to take my fingers and stick it underneath the lip on the edge and just tap down on the plate until the stator winding comes out. You can see the three leads there. This is the inside of the alternator. Here you see the rectifier the capacitor diode trio, rush holder, and voltage regulator down here. Basically what we're going to do is take all these quarter inch out first. You'll notice with the three hold down bolts on the voltage regulator there's one ground and these are the two insulators we showed you earlier. Here's the seven quarter inch head bolts that we just removed. This long one with all the threads is the one that holds the brush holder assembly down. These three are from the voltage regulator, two insulated and one ground. These ones up here are from the rectifier. There's two grounds and one insulated one. We're also going to include in the kit a new one of those. We're going to be leaving two of these connector arms installed into the alternator itself as we clean it. There's one that goes to the outside of the alternator through this one and one that goes to, to the outside of the alternator through this terminal. These we will not be removing. Leave these on. Here you can see where we took a screwdriver and just pried those two straps up out of the way. 